inside, spheres within spheres. I had a thought, actually two, one a while ago. I was reading Brian Greene on string theory and I thought, what if those other dimensions are inward and those inward dimensions that didn't expand at the beginning of time with the Big Bang, if they didn't expand with the extended dimensions of space and they are here inwardly, here everywhere they say is where the Big Bang happened and everywhere else in the expanded, extended dimensions is expanding away from here. So that inwardly the unextended, unexpanded dimensions are all just here overlapping a cosmic moat. Inwardly there are, maybe, these six other dimensions that the string people think of. That's thought one. Then I was reading about the mystic, the perennial philosophies, seven realms. They have the physical surrounded by, preceded or followed by, the pranic realm, then the mental realm, followed by the etheric, the causal, the cosmic, and finally the absolute, God himself even. Sometimes they're given different names. Baba calls God's space the nirvanic, for instance. Well, and you've probably guessed it, the second thought the other day, reading about these seven energy bodies was, what if they're all successively inward, or starting at the absolute, outward? So perhaps there are these three dimensions of space, or four of space and time, and then inward to that, the six dark unseen dimensions of space-time energy matter, the six extra dimensions of string theory, and inward to those, one of the M theories, I gather, has even more dimensions, so perhaps these are inward to the dark dimensions, and so on into God, enfolding, successive enfoldings, worlds within worlds. My friend Phil just said, so what? Like the Buddha said of God, Buddha said, just do the work. These abstractions have no relevance, and though I think it is a pretty thought that God is inside, 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 it doesn't take one there.